don't be shocked. I'm wearing a bright color. I just kind of felt like it this morning. Anyway, I'm still kind of slow around here because of vacation. The kids are outside playing with the neighbor children right now and I said to take advantage of it this time to declutter a little bit. I actually got the boys to go through some things in their room already this morning. Didn't take very long, but I do want to reorganize a few things. And I want to go through like closets. And the playroom is a big job. I don't know if I'm going to do it today or not. I, I don't know. I go through my house several times a year, I would say. And it generally doesn't take very long and it usually hits me at times when it's like, you know, not planned at all. And so this time I'm sort of planning it and I'm actually filming it. So yeah, it just feels good to get rid of things that are unnecessary, especially after all the holidays and everything. So I'm going to try and not make a, a long ordeal out of it because I only have a little bit of time this morning and this afternoon I might be doing something else. So hopefully this is something that can help you. I feel like if you do it frequently and don't just do it like once a year it's not as big of a deal and it doesn't take as long this is our linen closet in our bathroom the bathroom is not done at all I am going to go through stuff really quickly see if there's something I need to get rid of even in like closets you could do you like the six month method where if you're not sure if you want to get rid of something put it away for like in a box and see if you use it for like, you know, the next six months or maybe next season or something. If you're doing more of a seasonal wardrobe type of thing, stick it away, see if you actually wanted it or needed it, then you know you can get rid of it. That's a good thing. The other thing is you can flip your hangers around, for instance, flip them backwards so that, you know, as you're using your clothes, maybe in a several months time or however long you wanna make that, you can tell which hangers you have reached for, which clothes you've reached for. And so if you're not using the backwards hangers at the end of that period, you know that uh, it's probably safe to let go of this. So I've done that <laughs> in Nick's closet some, and I think I've done it in mine, but I go through my closet so often that I, I don't feel like it, it like builds up very much. Because I'm, I'm often, I'll take something out if I'm bringing something else in. I like thrifting, stuff like that. I wouldn't say I'm a minimalist. I don't have like a super big wardrobe or anything. So I do try to purge as often as I can. Okay, my closet needs a little help. There's kind of just stuff laying every which way. And I need to go through some things again. This is usually my donate bin. So I'll just like put stuff in there as I don't want it anymore. Got a random rug pad there and some other things. So I'm gonna make it pretty quick, hopefully. And here's Nick's closet. Not sure how much I'll do in here. We had kind of gone through stuff recently, but I might just tidy up a little bit. mine have my t-shirts that I have have just a lot of wear so I am just getting rid of them for that reason I would still probably wear them but some of them are a little stained I think I need to just slowly work on rebuilding it I have yet to wear this skirt I thrifted it here a little while ago and I want to wear it so badly but I did wash it I did not put it in the dryer, but like when I put it on, it says dry clean only, but it's an old, like it's more of a vintage style skirt and they have this like lining underneath. And when I put it on, it just wants to like stick out. And 
<sighs> it doesn't fit the best. I can, I think I'd be fine if I were just like walking around and things like that. But like the minute I go to like sit down, it's very like slippery. And so I don't want to part with it because I really want to wear it, but I haven't yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep it this winter yet and see. shorts mostly that he's getting rid of. He says he hasn't worn them in the last six months. Plus he's lost a lot of weight so that also makes a bit of a difference but I think this is mostly just he wants to declutter. Okay here is the closet. I took my rug out to wash it quickly but I feel like it looks better. I minimized quite a few things. Here's some extra hangers now which is always nice. I got rid of like three pairs of shoes I think and it feels good. Nick's closet is mostly the same, although he did get rid of a bunch of shorts and I think a couple shirts maybe. So it's nicely organized. And then under here, this is what my side of the sink looks like. I also have this medicine cabinet with all of my like face items and whatnot. And then Nick's side, which is sort of a combination of both of our stuff. If you know, if we need it. is my gift drawer if you will. I mainly just collect things that I think I might want to gift sometime or if I find good deals on stuff I just put it all in one drawer for now. linen cabinet. Nothing terribly exciting but I usually keep the boys' backpacks and bags and stuff we keep in here. We can also hang them out here but it's just less clutter if I can have those in here. Uh, I do have like a place to throw the girls' coats and maybe some like church purses and things. Got some keys, a coin jar, and then up here I have play-doh coloring stuff you name it in here and then uh, headphones and extra igloo and then we have like phone chargers and cables in here this is just some random stuff like umbrellas and some other miscellaneous items got light bulbs and some like emergency type things and the nebulizer this is where I keep like my rags I switched out this drawer I'll put a basket in here to kind of put my towels and then I have room for a few other things. Here's the junk drawer. I did sort of go through it, but it looks a little chaotic, but it's somewhat of an organized chaos, if you will. <laughs> Underneath here, I've got 
a few cleaning supplies uh, and then laundry stuff and then also the green machine. So this cabinet is a bit of a mishmash of different things. Uh, I have like extra decor for like candles, some little things I like to like move around in the house some and then I also have stuff out in the garage like my seasonal decor and things. So this is sort of a place to put some of like the smaller stuff. I think I'm gonna put uh, like my silverware and some things serving wise into this bin here. This is where we keep the games. A while ago, I got some of these zipper pouches. Highly recommend them uh, because it keeps everything contained. You can take the games like out of their original boxes and you can put everything in a bag, put the instructions in there, and it really helps keep things much more tidy. Okay, I'm moving into the boys' bedroom. I just washed their sheets and put them back on. And I don't think I ever showed you guys the Seb dresser from Castlery. I'd been waiting on it when we did their room makeover. So there it is, fits nicely in that spot. The drawers are a bit shallow, but I mean, it does the job I've got there. Mostly just like their pants and yeah, things like that in here, socks. And then we have the one night stand over here that they both have a drawer to put little tchotchkes. Also, the shelves get quite full of stuff usually. And then this wall over here stayed pretty much the same. Seems to be working well and they like it. I do have a bin here on the wall. Currently does not have anything in it. Then this is the closet that we went through just a little bit. I don't know, we didn't really go through it this morning, but I really would love an actual closet system organization where I have like a tower in the middle and you know all of that but we're just not doing that right now so that just bothers me so I have some extra bins I've had sitting around and I don't know why I didn't think about it before but I think I have a few that can match and will make it look better uh, this is like clothes that are either for Jackson coming up or maybe for Caden a few things. This is kind of Caden's side, this is Jackson's side, and then we have the laundry hamper. This bin is pretty much empty and then we've got their clothes that we just throw in here. So this is like their everyday tops and bottoms for both of them. All right, I'm done in here. I did kind of reorganize their clothes a little bit by color. I know it won't stay like that, but I like to do it periodically. I've got those two bins up there, and then over here I kept the same bin up there, and then I have a thing here for their hats. Otherwise, nothing too major happened in here, but it does look better, it looks orderly, and there's not like too much stuff, which is always the goal. And as far as what I am donating today, I've got these three trash bags here. I also have this trash bag of junk. And then I had put some more things in like the other trash cans as well. So 
that feels pretty good. Okay, I'm back at it. It's another day. I am in the girls' room. I'm gonna go through their closet really quickly. I don't think it's gonna take me very long because I kind of just went through it, but I'm just gonna make sure. And I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll find some things, but hopefully it won't take me very long. I don't have my good tripod here. Hopefully I can find a decent angle for you all to sit to watch. <laughs> the bed is not even made. There's their laundry hamper. This is Oakland's bed and then Harper's crib. We don't keep many toys, if any, in their room, so that helps. We have a playroom. So I do have this dresser here. Uh, this one, okay, I can probably just tidy up a little bit. Let's see what we're working with here. I've got some clothes for Harper. I am not super organized when it comes to kids' clothes. I tend to just kind of throw things in. It's just much easier when you have four children. You have to kind of put a lot of clothes away, it seems, and I don't always have time to fold. So just keeping it real. This is Oakland stuff here. And don't mind the lack of lighting. I don't have a light in the closet. The top shelf is just a conglomeration of different baskets that I never remember what is in because some is like clothes to donate, some is stuff that Oakland's outgrown for Harper, some is swimsuits, just kind of, I don't know, it kind of bugs me. So this is Oakland's side, Harper's side, and then I have this DIY cabinet that Nick and I had done before Oakland was born. It's a storage cube unit from Target. And then we wrapped it with wood that we stained and put legs on it. I have their air purifier thing in there. This is extra wipes, diapers, Harper's. Uh, as you can see, I'm missing a basket like this. I need to just, I think I used one in the playroom. So it's like mismatched. This is Harper's PJs, Oakland's PJs, Harper's uh, sweatshirts or tops. And then this is like their bottoms. So they can basically wear the same size like leggings and stuff, which is kind of nice. And then this is mostly like bedding or blankets of some kind. Then I just need to, yeah, tidy up a little bit. Morning has broken, my windows are open. I feel the wind blow through my hair Which way do I follow? What happens tomorrow? I turn to you and hope you can guide the way Sometimes I give up, just wanna be on my own Even in the darkest times you give me hope So To some of their cute baby blankets or not like I want to but we're also not planning to have more children but it's kind of hard on me to get rid of some so I still have a bin of some of their blankets even though they weren't like super attached to them so maybe I'll hang on to them because I could even give them to my sisters or something I have in the past uh, given some of like Harper's clothes to my sisters-in-laws for their little girls. They're kind of like right behind Harper. So 
I don't know, I did purge a few blankets earlier, so I may hang on to some of these yet for a little bit, <laughs> just cause I'm kinda sentimental. This is a brand new one with tags that I had gotten, I think back when we were taking pictures, but I ended up never using it. So I'm gonna put that in my gift stash. Yay! This is mostly, I think for the most part, stuff that Harper outgrew. And a lot of this was handed down from Oakland, so it has gotten used like twice, a lot of it. And then some is stuff that I'm passing down to Harper. One is for Oakland to come. I might actually hang that up. I think she could wear that pretty soon. I have several pairs of these little brown shoes, Carter's ones. These are ones that Oakland wore and wore and wore. <laughs> They're very comfortable. I got her a bigger size, I think. So I think I have maybe another pair bigger, but these will fit Harper mm, in maybe a few months or so. Okay, so there's the donate pile. Okay, quickly show you in the dresser. This one's pretty empty, so I can customize it as I want. I have socks, I do need to do some laundry. And this is some of Harper's stuff here, and then swimsuits. The thing is, stuff kind of changes as they grow, needs change, and it's always wise to just adjust and adapt. And this is Oakland's stuff, so mostly skirts, some shorts, sweaters, and tops. Then the closet is not exactly as I'd want. I think I might look for some matching bins to put up top or see if I have some around the house, but I was in a hurry, so I am just gonna leave it for now. I should get a matching basket to put down there. That kind of bothers me. And this is has blankets and a backpack. I may still get rid of the one blanket in there anyway. I've got a few different things up here. This one has like non-clothing items that's an empty one, so if I wanna put stuff there to donate or whatever, I can do that. And then that is stuff mostly for Harper. I'm trying to think, oh, and those extra blankets. And then, as far as the rest of the room, I am gonna trash that basket. As you can see, it's like not holding its shape anymore. And then I've got some trash in there, except for maybe that softball for the boys. Um, as far as the rest of the room, Here's the laundry hamper, which should be bigger. I'm just using what I have right now. And that'll do it for this room. Okay, next we are in the playroom and it is not decorated. I would really like to do it. I just haven't really gotten to it. I have two cube organizers here. One is an eight one from I think Kia maybe. Not really sure, possibly Target. And the other one is a six cube that I added this summer just to add more storage. So basically it works, but uh, things have just gotten disorganized and I need to purge some stuff. And then in the closet, I've got their little kitchen and I have some extra sewing stuff up there and then some other toys that they don't use as much or that I just try to like kind of stash away. And then way up top, I need to get that basket down. With girls, you have lots of little things I am finding out. So Oakland loves like these little characters. We've got little like, what are they called? Shotguns or Hatchimals. I'm not really sure what they are, but just like little things, more so than what the boys did when they were little. It's gonna take some organization, but hopefully I can find some things to purge. I know it's been a struggle. I know you've had some pain. I know you feel tired. Held down by all the way Yeah, I know you're feeling lonely Your smile ain't the same I saw you when it 
go from here I feel like you've lost your way Don't give up, no, don't give in Never lose hope, don't let go of the promise It ain't done, yeah, he's got a plan Watch him break down, got a miracle Okay, so this is gonna be my extra bin And this one has some fabric that I had plans of using for sewing, but I don't know when I'm gonna get to. And I have a couple of extra stuffed animals that I don't really wanna get rid of. I can see the strength inside you. Child, you're putting up a fight. Oh, you're stronger than you think you are. Yeah, you're so, gonna be alright. I'm left with this. Uh, some of it I'm gonna donate. There's some things in there that are just throw away and Let's see. I have another baby stroller a pink one that Harper just got But she does use this one yet, too. So I'm gonna keep this But look what they did Not cool <laughs> But this one I usually just keep stashed here and I'm gonna go get that other green blanket maybe the two other blankets that I had in the girls' room and have this be the designated blanket basket. Feels really good. I basically just reorganized things and then decluttered some stuff. And the closet looks pretty much the same, but again, just kind of cleaned up a little bit. I didn't get that down, but it's okay. I'll leave it. So for those who like to see what toys we actually have, <laughs> uh, I've got books, got some controllers and like electronic type stuff up here. This is a Connect 4 game. I've got more books. These are like older reading books, things like that. And this is stuff that it should go in the boys room. Got mostly Matchbox cars or Hot Wheels. We've got blocks and mostly vehicles to put like Paw Patrols and different things like that in. Magnets. We've got trains. A lot of these things are things that can last like a long time. And so I don't mind hanging on to some of that stuff. So here's Oakland's Barbie car and a couple strollers. And then some Barbie stuff. She just got some of the stuff for Christmas. She's got all her little Figures, Octonauts, Gabby's Dollhouse, these little calico critters, I think. And then I put a couple of her little ponies and things like that in here too. Here, we've got things for dolls, dress up clothes and purses. And then these are dolls and this is a thing that Harper just got for Christmas. And then there's the dollhouse, of course, the rocker and a crib and that's it for the playroom. I am very happy with it. I do need to decorate it, but we'll do that later, right? I didn't really think I was gonna go through the kitchen, but I think I'm just gonna like whiz through it really quickly. I have a spice organizer that I should try to utilize, but I don't want to take the time to do it today. And then this one, not much to do in here. This is a drawer with some of my sourdough stuff and some baking sheets. There, that's better. Okay, 
got rid of a bunch of lids and a few other random things. Moving on to here. Not sure if I have anything to get rid of. I feel like I don't have a lot of extras the way it is. don't have just a ton of extra room in my kitchen. Uh, I'm very happy with it, but it's definitely, I'm maxed out. This is just not really gonna look nice. This is like my mixer. I've got two different waffle irons and then my blender. Yep, I think it's gonna stay. I'm gonna get rid of this one. And I keep the lids for these in my Tupperware drawer over there. This is my silverware drawer. I don't really have any like small narrow drawers, so they're all like this size pretty much. Over there are some that are a little smaller, but this is just kind of how it worked out in here. Okay, what do we have in here? So I think I need to go get a bin out in the garage and transfer some of my empty jars out there because it's starting to get full. I usually just like stash them up there once I use them. And then this is the last cabinet besides for the one on top of the fridge. I'm gonna see if I can find some things to get rid of in here, but I kind of just have the basics anyway. Yeah, not much changed in here. I have a few things that I'm donating. And then the pantry just needs to be tidied up. Just really disorganized. It's kind of like a place to go with some things that I, you know, don't really keep out. <laughs> okay, purge some things. That's done, that feels really good. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna go through the office. It's looking a little uh, shoddy, not very good right now. So there's not that much. I'm just gonna quick take a scan through and some of the stuff is Nick's stuff. So yeah, it just, it needs to be cleaned up. Quick went through the office. done you guys it feels so good I actually was not intending to do this today but kind of changed my plans as the day went along and it feels so good to have it done like I feel like most of the house has been touched like all of the areas that should be checked have been and it feels so good I didn't spend a whole lot of time and the more often you do this the less time it's gonna take you and stuff doesn't build up. So with four kids, clutter builds up really fast and I have to stay on top of it for my sanity. So if there's like a lot of stuff out and toys everywhere all the time, like I don't function very well, I'm not my best at that moment. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so the less extra stuff I can have around, the better. I definitely don't keep on top of it every day. My house is messy a lot of the time, but if I can at least, you know, do this every so often, it helps cut down on the excess. So hopefully this video was motivating and you are ready to tackle yours, or maybe you've been doing it while I've been doing it. I hope so. So I know that not everyone's capable of doing it, depending what stage of life you're in and all of that, but just focus on little, spaces at a time. Doesn't have to be the whole house like I'm showing in this video. That's not nearly always doable. So, you know, little things at a time. Maybe your bathroom or maybe the kid's bathroom or your closet or whatever. Just take like a couple a month even or something like that if that helps you. So hopefully this was helpful. 
stay tuned for more uh, house updates on the Englewood project that we're doing. So that is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all next time. Bye.